Okay guys, so do you remember I took this scope to Mexico a little while back and we were at a Bordel 4 zone. So today I'm at a Bordel 2 zone again before the season gets over and it starts getting cold. I thought you guys would like to see this video. So in Mexico was a Bordel 4 with this guy. Now we're in Bordel 2. Does two zones make that big of a difference with the same telescope? Now, Bordel 2 is also, I call it a gray zone, and it's the second best. So, will two zones be a little different, medium difference, or a huge difference? May, if you guys want to maybe make an opinion right now, and then uh, let's see what happens. So, I'm going to try looking at some of the same stuff. I don't know if you can see that uh, Orion constellation. No. The Cassiopeia, Andromeda is high. So we'll try looking at some of the stuff. Uh, I think even Aquila is up. There are mosquitoes out. Uh, Big Dipper's up, Vega, Lyra. So let's take a look at that. I think you guys would like to know, going to two zones, does it make it drastic better or just a little better? Let's get to it. Okay guys, so I did look at the Helix Nebula. Now remember from a latitude, I think in this Bortle zone of two, it's about 44 degrees north. So Helix Nebula is very low. When I was in um, Mexico, I was at uh, 20 latitude. And then the second part, I went to a 18 latitude north. So I was much lower and a lot of the stuff that's in the south part is a lot higher so unfortunately here the the bottom well the helix nebula is much much lower and it's very hazy right today i could see it but I'm not very impressed i did see it before as i said uh, with a four inch f5 refracting telescope uh, with a two inch eyepiece uh, i think and then with a nebula filter I would have to go back in my books because I do log them in. But I did see it, but it's a little faint fuzz, fuzzball, even less than Mexico. So because in Mexico is a Bortle 4, and then here's a Bortle 2, it's much lower. So you have to take that into consideration. I did take a look at M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy. You can see two small smudges, but it's not super, super bright, but you could definitely see there's a glow there. Uh, we went to M8182. Now, those two items, I did not look at Mexico because uh, my northern, uh, I mean, the dipper right now in the fall is already, the dipper is already low. And then being 22 degrees south, the dippers was almost at the horizon. But again, so anyway, just so you guys know, uh, M81 and A2, you can see them, two little glows, and it's not too bad. I would personally recommend if you can get to an 8 or 10 inch, uh, or even up to 12 inch, it will look much, much bigger. But pretty decent in a Bortle 2, those two things. Uh, we, I did look at Hercules, which I don't remember if I we did in Mexico. And even in a 32 millimeter, which is the lowest I can go in this guy, it's blazing there. Put a 12 millimeter and you can see thousands of stars dazzling. So there's a couple things. Now let's go to the Andromeda Galaxy because we looked at that. So let me see how much better it'll look. And then let's go to the double cluster and the owl cluster. Let's take a look at that one, okay? So I'll see you guys in a bit. Again, I'm trying not to look at the camera uh, so I can stay kind of a dark adaptive a bit. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, owl cluster, extremely easy in a 32 millimeter in this telescope. Uh, the double cluster blazing in this guy in a Bortle 2. Andromeda, oh my God. I, I Maybe it's been so long that uh, I, I see it because usually with Andromeda, it's hard to find a telescope that gives you a huge extended view. Andromeda goes from my field of view the whole way 
So huge difference from this guy in the Bordeaux 4 and the Bordeaux 2. Big, big difference. I can see the full extension and I can even see its companion uh, below. Um, the other companion gets lost in the brightness of Andromeda, but I can't even fit Andromeda in the field of view at all. But you could see the full extension go one side to the other. There's no way to make this telescope any lower power, you know what I mean? But uh, big difference uh, between the two zones. Try a couple more things. So what else I wanted to tell you guys is that I am not using it on that cheap little Omni AZ mount. I'm using the SV Boney mount with my heavy duty tripod. So this is a much better setup. But remember too, for airplanes, you know, um, I'm just looking for travel and lightweight. Uh, let me, I forgot to put my ride gel in. I actually feel like everything's already wet. So it's very dewy today. Um, it's clear. Hopefully we get an Aurora. But anyway, I'm just setting up the star sense. Okay, I'm just gonna line up on, I don't know, maybe Saturn or something. Okay guys, I am not gonna look into the camera. That way it doesn't affect me as much. I went to M11, which we did that day as well, in, in a zone four. So here, easily seen in a 32 millimeter super palazzo, easy. And then I bumped it up for a 12 and a half, easily done. The Dumbbell Nebula, easy. Yeah, it like, it stands out like in a 32 millimeter, which is only like, what is it? 22 or 26 power, post it after. Um, so extremely easy. Then going to a 12.4, again, big, bright. So I'll try a couple more things. And I'll try not to look so much at the camera. And okay, guys, hopefully you guys like that. Uh, you know, I tried the um, California Nebula, and then I put a. I know it's a big nebula, but I, I figure I'll give it a shot. I, like I wasn't. Wow, it's really dewy. Like this dew cap thing, it's really wet. Yeah, I tried the California Nebula, but I don't think I got it. Yeah, I even tried with the narrow band filter. I know it's big and wide type of thing. So I was thinking may, maybe it could be a small chance uh, in this type of zone, this wide field. With the, but I, I would say probably no, because I, I can't confirm it. Maybe there was something there. I don't know. But, you, you know, unless you really know or see it, you know, I don't want to tell you guys yes. So we tried the owl cluster easily. The coat hanger just fits in this telescope. So there are some items that you still need a lower power telescope than the like 750 millimeter. It's still a little strong, you know what I mean? But I can't remember if that was all. I think so. The Pleiades is just rising uh, above, you know, the the treetops there. And there we go. Um, now, I think I did try the, I think it was the Soul Nebula or the Heart Nebula, one of them. I think I see something there, but again, I'm not sure. Those are usually photographic or, or astrophotography image, but it's always, why not give it a try? But I, I'm gonna say, I'm not sure, but um, okay. So let's say, let's get to the conclusion. This six inch heritage in a Bordeaux 4 was decent. Now, I, I believe the Helix Nebula was slightly better, and that's because you're much lower in the sky, and so it was much higher. I was much lower in latitude, so the item was much higher in the sky. Even though this is two zones better, today is hazy down there towards the bottom. I'm much further north now. So those two combination is not great. I did try looking at the lagoon, uh, the swan, and the eagle. But again, they're too far now in the sky, and plus the haziness, it just won't work. It's, it was very, very dim, but I did kind of glimpse them. So anyway, guys, remember, again, sky conditions are always the best. Now, this is the second best kind of zone you can get to. So not everybody has that opportunity to get to a Bortle 2 or a gray zone. But if you can, do it, even if it's two or three times a year type of thing. Do whatever it takes. But uh, the Heritage performs even better. Now, me being experienced in this hobby a long time, normally, that's when I used to bring my a 12 inch SCT up here uh, because then with a 12 inch in a Bordeaux 2 
things are just amazing in this type of situation with that size and the sky conditions it's amazing again there are some stuff like the big huge stuff that it's just too powerful for and that's why you need a low power sometimes telescope but uh, this does pretty good in a Bordeaux uh, too uh, I think most people would be uh, you know pretty happy with it okay guys like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys on the next video if you guys know anybody getting a hobby share my channel if you guys are on the forums and maybe someone's asked with a six inch be good in a Bordeaux two or something like that uh, tell them hey Joe did a video on that check it out and uh, that's it I do have members video where once a month I put a video just for the members uh, it does not go public it's only 99 cents a month and I put your name in the description why not you why not me